The first time I saw Michael Jordan touch a basketball, I became infatuated, completely immersed in all of his glory anytime he stepped on the court. He could literally jump from the free throw line and dunk the ball, and it looked as if he was gliding through the air. I thought to myself, there is no way this guy is human. I quickly laced up my basketball shoes to see if it could be done. Again, I asked myself, how? In deep thought with sadness and confusion, I wondered if I could ever reach that level of skill and athleticism. I was considered a talented basketball player, but I never truly worked hard at anything. However, that was all about to change. It became my obsession in order to achieve what only the 1% in the world had ever done. A few searches through YouTube and I found myself submerged in the world of hustle culture. Not knowing what I had gotten myself into, I came across a certain video. You the problem and your perspective is the problem. You thought you was just gonna have a dream and a goal, and you was just gonna wake up and just walk into the sunset. You're like, dream. when you want to succeed, as bad as you wanna breathe, young man, then you will be successful in any area of your life. The following words stuck with me. If you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you will be successful. These motivational speakers began spewing out their views and tactics used in order for them to be successful, for me to be successful. This was the answer I was looking for. Finally, all I have to do is work myself to death and it will happen. My dreams will come true. I became obsessed with the end goal, like I was living in the future, completely ignoring the gift of the present. However, I soon came to a realization. Is what I am trying to achieve worth more than my health? What's more important to you? Unknowingly, I had become a part of this group this culture where laziness was unacceptable. I was very lazy growing up, probably the laziest person in the world. I did not believe in hard work. I relied completely on my talent alone. However, I soon learned talent can only take you so far. Am I better than the other motivational speakers? I don't know if I'm more talented than them. I just know I get up at three o'clock and put my videos out first. I just know I do five a day. So if you're actually better than me, nobody will know. How much do you think is work ethic and discipline versus this pure talent? I think, I think work ethic and discipline is 51% of the equation and that talent's 49. I think, I think, I just see too much talent wasted daily. The only way the possibility remains that it can happen is if you never give up no matter what. So I needed to turn it up a notch. I needed to make my dreams become a reality by any means necessary. This movement or group that I turned to was called hustle culture no days on put some pressure on yourself grind with everything you got work ethic hustle it refers to the mentality that one must work all day every day in pursuit of their professional or personal goals this culture believes that by any means necessary come hell or high water you need to obtain your goals even if that means you lose sleep even if you work every day including weekends even if that means to neglect your loved ones you are on a mission and nothing can come in the way of reaching your dreams kind of like a uh, if you're not with me then you're my enemy type thing celebrities like steve Hart Harvey, Elon Musk, Eric Thomas, and other big name motivational speakers broadcast their hustle culture views to the world, showing that if you want to get where they are, well, it's going to take work, a lot of work. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Rich people don't sleep eight hours a day. That's a third of your life. It ain't but 24 hours in a day. You cannot be sleep eight hours a day. You, you hear phrases like rich people don't sleep. Naturally, your first instinct is they sound crazy. Sleep is important. Studies show you need eight hours of sleep, right? But when you look at your life, you aren't where you want to be. You get your eight hours of sleep every day, but you have nothing to show for it. I made the decision to make my dreams my number one priority. Come hell or high water, I was going to make it, no matter what happens to me along the way. That decision? cost me dearly. And you want to know something? It will for you too. Everything took a turn for the worse after I made that decision. I started living in the future, imagining myself having obtained my dreams. It felt good for a moment. I would close my eyes and just imagine. I could smell the fresh air. I could feel the tangible things around me. But then 
it all went away. I was transported back into reality and negative thoughts started to enter my mind. Hustle culture makes you focus on one thing, your goal. But what about the middle? What about what's right in front of you? I would argue that what your focus should be on is the journey, the process. So I want to ask you this question. What is more important to you? What you become in pursuit of your goal or obtaining the goal? This was the hard truth that hit my soul. My goal was not the important thing. I thought the goal was everything. You go to crazy lengths, team no sleep, no days off, grind, grind, grind. But I was missing the most important thing, and that was what was right in front of me. Hustle culture has been praised as this movement where you need to work yourself to death if you want to be successful. But at what cost? Ask yourself another question. That goal that you're trying to achieve? What if today it was yours, but you were sick the rest of your life? Would you take it? Would it still be valuable to you? There'll be young kids that listen, and they'll... They might stop talking to their family, they might stop calling their girlfriend, and they might say, do you know what, it's because I just need to be obsessed. And they might compromise things in their life that lead them to despair and unhappiness and those kinds of things. And I always wonder with these individuals that you've worked with that are at the highest level, that are, that are obsessed, do they prioritize happiness as the goal, as the ultimate goal, or is winning the goal at all costs. Here are some ways hustle culture can be known as a toxic culture in your life. Burnout, a state of physical or emotional exhaustion that also involves a sense of reduced accomplishment and loss of personal identity. Is your goal worth losing your identity, who you are as a person? Do you want to be defined by what you obtain or by who you are? Stress, and trust me, you will feel stressed. I remember when trying to achieve my goal, anytime I would make a mistake, I was so hard on myself. I needed to hustle harder, grind harder. Over time, that led me to displaying stressful behaviors around my job and my family. Balance is key in your life. I don't care what anyone says. Without balance, eventually you will tip over. Research suggests that overworking is also detrimental to companies. Employees who work long hours tend to sleep less, make more mistakes, and and end up costing businesses more in health insurance, high turnover, and sick days. They say pressure makes diamonds, but when it comes to your life, putting pressure on yourself on a daily basis to achieve that goal you want so bad will lead to your downfall, which leads to the expectation of you trying to be perfect, trying to be better than everyone else because you work hard every single day, no days off. Look. I'm all for someone trying to work hard to achieve their goals, but done in a correct balanced way where your health doesn't decline. But before we get into that, I'd like to pose another question. What motivates you? We can tell who a person is by what motivates them, that deep desire inside of them that craves the thing they want the most. It was never the money or the job that you wanted. It was the recognition, the glory, the satisfaction in knowing that you had achieved something great and everyone got to see it. You proved everyone wrong. Those who doubted you, those who made fun of you, they now get to see you bask in all of your greatness. What you really wanted was the glory. Really look into yourself and find out your why. And I would notion that it should never be about obtaining materialistic things or for glory. Money should never be the motive. A certain number of subscribers should never be the motive. To be seen should never be the motive. Purify your motives in removing yourself from the equation. Why do you deserve your goals? Is it to make a difference? Is it to help someone in need? Is it to provide for your family? It can't be just all about you. For many of you, life has hit you so hard and you don't know who to trust. I get it. But try your best to find your family, your people who you can confide in, people that will have your back. Hustle culture will isolate you, keep you hidden from the world because you are only focused on one thing. It will physically and mentally drain you to the point of exhaustion and stress, resulting in a catastrophic event. This is what you need to do, and it is very simple. You have a dream, you have a goal. Once it is set, detach from it and focus on the present day. Be grateful for what you have now in pursuit of what you want. If you are tired, take a day off. I grant you permission to take a day off. Your body and mind will thank you later. Team, no sleep, no days off, grind, grind, grind. Those days are over. Now go out and live your best healthy life.